when the main character's name is Pippolotta Delicatessa Windowshade Macromint Ephraim Slaughter Longstocking, then you know the book has to be good. 100 Books You Must Read Number 28 Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren This book was first published in Sweden in 1945. Tommy and Annika are two well-behaved children who are fascinated when they find that their new neighbor lives by herself in a house called Villa Villacula with a pet monkey named Mr. Nilsson. Pippi is so strong that she can lift a horse above her head with one hand. She also has a hoard of gold coins that she uses to buy whatever she needs. They are apparently from her father, who just might be a pirate. Expect fun and antics galore. And there are sequels. 100 Books You Must Read, number 29, a book with the same zininess as Pippi Longstocking, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, with Roald Dahl. This book features Charlie Bucket, who lives in an impoverished household with his parents, his Grandpa George, his Grandma Georgina, his Grandpa Joseph, and his Grandma Josephine. One day, he wins a golden ticket, which gives him the opportunity to tour Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. He does this along with several other quite nasty children, Augustus Gloop, Veruca Salt, Violet Beauregard, and Mike TV. There they find many scrumptious chocolatey confections. There's even a chocolate waterfall. Charlie also finds that Willy Wonka himself is, well, maybe just a bit crazy. But aren't we all? There is also a sequel. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day. This is Just to Say by William Carlos Williams. I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold.